welcome to the channel. Today we're working on the uh, Yamaha PW50. We had this out last week riding around our four-year-old Zane here. He rode it uh, for the really the first time, but we rode it in a lot with some really dusty conditions. It didn't start very good. Like It took a lot of times to kick it over, so we're going to do a little tune-up on it, make sure everything's good to go. So next time we go riding it, maybe hopefully it runs better. So we're going to first off change the spark plug, and then we're going to clean the, clean the air filter, and then we're going to top off the uh, oil, the two-stroke oil uh, tank up front here. So those two things, those are the things you kind of want to check, especially the air filter and the oil in here. You want to make sure those are full all the time. Okay, we're just taking the spark plug out here. Uh, spark plug size uh, socket you need is a uh, 13 sixteenths. Spark plug super easy on this. It's really accessible. I really want to see what the condition of this is. Uh, it's pretty, uh, you know, I mean, I think it would dent so. Okay, we're going to replace this with an NGK. The, the Yamaha dealer said replace it with this one here. This one will burn a little hotter. BPR 4HS. All right, so we're going to put that in. So you just basically just screw the back in right there. Screw it in hand tight and just tighten it back down. Okay. All right, spark plug's done. Spark plug on. You want to make sure you take off this little uh, top cap. There's a cap there that um, doesn't allow this spark plug to fit onto the spark plug boot. So you just unscrew that there so you have the bare threads. Then you can snap on this spark plug boot all the way. There we go. All right, spark plug's all changed. Okay, next we're going to fill up this oil reservoir here in front of the handlebars. This takes a two-stroke motor oil. Yamaha, the Yamaha Lube 2S is what the uh, recommended. This is a great oil. I always just want to keep this, after a ride, we always just want to top this off. So we're just going to top off the oil in the tank just so we never run this dry. Since this, this dirt bike is a two-stroke, so it needs the oil and gas mix. Okay, to get the air box out, we actually didn't need to take the seat off. We're actually just, uh, it's the air box is just right here behind on the left-hand side. There's just a little screw that comes out of the bottom and then you just maneuver it past this, this bar here and you just pull it out. And then we're just gonna open it up. And... All right, we take that screw out of there. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to clean this out. So these filters are just a foam filter. You basically clean it out and then we re-oil re it so that it's um, ready to go next time we use it. Okay, to clean the filter in the housing, I'm using this uh, Bell Ray foam filter cleaner and degreaser. So we're just going to clean up the grease on this. So we're just going to spray inside the housing here. Just get all the dirt and debris loosened up. And then for the filter, I'm just going to spray it here. We just work it in there. We really wanted to. We're just trying to squeeze out all the dirt, all the old oil. work this around inside of it. Okay, just cleaning out the air box here, just getting all the loose dirt. Making sure this is clean. It'll keep the dirt out of the filter if we keep this clean. Okay, I'm just getting a little dish soap and water and rinse it through this just to give a final clean. Want to make sure it's really clean. There was pretty dirty. You just want to make sure it's completely dry before we start adding the, the filter oil. So we'll completely rinse this out, squeeze it out, and then we'll just set it out 
in the sun to dry for a few hours and come back and make sure it's dry. Okay, we're using this um, FFT foam filter oil. Just get some foam filter oil. You know, you get it at your local dirt bite store. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description if you can pick it up on Amazon. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna oil it here. We're just gonna put a few drops. You know, we just have a small, we just poked a small hole in this. We're just getting it in here. We're just gonna get it around and then we're gonna kind of squeeze it, spread it around a little bit here. There we go. All right, so what we're doing here, see I'm just squeezing it, just, you wanna make sure you just spread it throughout the whole foam, squeeze it, massage it in. Get it worked in good. And it's rounded on this. Well, the filter matches up, so the notched part of the filter is going to go there. Rounded side there. <clears throat> okay, we just put it back together like that. So how this air box works is air enters here, it goes into this chamber here and then enters the uh, carburetor from here. The clean air goes in through here. So, Okay, we'll put the screw back in and we'll screw it back into the bike. Okay, this little rubber boot that hooks onto the carburetor, uh, it comes off and there's a notch in it so you know which how this goes. So we're just going to put this little clamp back on and slip it onto the carburetor. So this makes it easier to install it if you pull this off. So we're just going to wipe off the carburetor here, make sure it's all clean off the... Okay, now I'm just going to stick this in like this. Alrighty, Zane. Okay, All right, got it started up. It's running good. Do a quick lap around the neighborhood here, just make sure it's uh, running good. But new spark plug uh, seems to make it run and start a lot easier.